Hey, hi, congratulations on the film. You're looking very dapper, I must say, in true Kingsman style. So what can people expect from this Kingsman? Because obviously it's a hugely popular franchise now. How does this one differ? Because it's got a bit of a different tone, isn't it? It differs because in a historical setting, it takes place in the early 20th century, time of the First World War. But it's how the Kingsman spy agency came into being. So I think that's the essential difference. But the kind of Matthew Vaughan Kingsman action sequences that are surprising and inventive and fun, they are there. And they kind of, I think what I like is it's a, bit of, it's a slight bit of a slow burn. I think you think, here's this Duke and this son, and it's all a bit sort of painful. And then slowly it kind of gathers steam and then suddenly it smashes into gear with the arrival of Reese fans as Rasputin. And then I think it kicks up into, uh, no, I think it's, I saw it some time ago, but I think it's, uh, Matthew's got an extraordinary, unusual world that he creates. He I'd love to be in his mind. And also, there is a scene where uh, there's a goat licking your face. Yeah. Was this your idea, and how many takes did that take? It wasn't my idea, actually, that all these stunt and fight and action sequences are they're thought through by Matthew and his team ahead of time. And he showed me this sequence under what they call an animatic, which is sort of like a, a good cartoon version. So you, you see it ahead of time. And I saw this goat moment, which I, I thought was brilliant because he just keeps comedy in and out of the, there's the peril of the characters, and then there's these little comic yeah. moments, which I think are great, you know. It's, yeah. it's not what you'd expect, but that's what we love about Matthew Vaughan films, right? Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank Have you. A great you too, thank yeah. you, bye bye.